Okay, so here, here's the next painting developing. This is going to be the picture of um, Dante. But if you look carefully at this picture, you'll see that it's a picture of a man um, who is full of energy, who is burning with energy. But the energy that he's burning with is not just normal fire. It's plasma. It's the same energy that is burning inside that big sun up there. It's a plasma. It's a, it's a state in which the atoms are losing their um, bondeds, bonds over the, the microparticles. And the particles are beginning to uh, leave it at the speed of light. Because this is man, E equals mc squared man. Uh, that's the next point of this painting. This is man who is E equals mc squared. And the point of that is that every person, every lump of matter uh, co is composed of an enormous number of atoms and any one of which, if it were taken apart, if the bonds within the atom were broken and the uh, elementary particles of the atom, that is to say its electrons, its um, protons and its neutrons, and all the small microparticles that make up protons and neutrons, which are uh, muons and gluons and goodness knows what else, all these microparticles that have been bound up Use it, uh, because of the strong magnetic force, the strong atomic force, and the weak atomic force, into the nucleus of the atom. All that is broken apart and sent off. And instead of being bound up like light, traveling at the speed of light within its orbits, it shoots off in all directions and disperses. And this body disperses just as the body beside it of the dis the disappearing man, the dispersing man. This body is dispersing in truth. That is to say, even the atoms are dispersing. But they, of course, don't disperse away from the universe. They remain within the cosmos as um, elementary particles traveling in at the speed of light in all directions. And if a calculation is made using E equals mc squared of the quantity of energy that there is within a man, and it's a calculation I did um, a couple of nights back, helped by the internet, the amount of energy stored up in one human body would be enough if completely realized as energy so that all the... Um, material elements dispersed to, to power all the motor cars in America for 1.74 months. That is to say, nearly two years of all the power needed to drive the vehicles of America are locked up in the body of a single man. So that's what this painting is about, the extraordinary universal cosmic energy that is locked up within each person. And that energy is a fraction of the energy that was begun at the Big Bang. It's the same energy. We are implicit the Big Bang itself. We're in the Big Bang and we are also locking up the Big Bang inside us. That's what makes us into physical beings. It gives us matter and body. And so this painting not only is showing lines of um, energy leaving it, I think there are something like 60 billion cells dying and being reborn in our bodies every day. Because, of course, we have a far normal. So those are just the cells in our body, and of course the atoms of the cells are also being collected and bonded. Uh, not made into atoms, but 
gathered from the, our food and our, of, and our environment to make the replacement cells. So all the time there's a seething energy surrounding the human form. Usually it comes from eating down into the gut and out from the gut comes all this uh, material that gets locked into our bodies. And um, I'm imagining that energy, the plasma that binds it. So I'm painting the body as if it's burning. This body will be emanating heat and dyna dynamism and that's what I'm after. Um, so that's the painting that is coming. It's, I'm doing the white underpainting at the moment. The colour will be put on uh, later. And as I say, this, is a, this will take on the form of Dante. And he takes his place in the painting as the beginning of a journey. He's a kind of pilgrim. And he's about to, to ascend the mountain, which will be above him. And his companion is not Virgil in my painting, but it will be either Beatrice or Darwin. I haven't decided yet. But either way, it will be an interesting process. And that will go up into a kind of mountainscape there on which an observatory will be built. <laughs>